relays aren't necessarily the most weather um, uh, like safe. In other words, if you leave them out outside, water can, you know, moisture can creep in there and start to corrode some of the mechanics. And then before you know it, the relay no longer turns on. So a you know, way to, to, to fix that is if the relay looks solid and the plastic isn't crunchy, you just take it and give it a nice solid tap on all four sides. And this will cause the little actuator inside to flick back and forth because it had gotten frozen, um, perhaps by rust or just corrosion. Um, so this is a 12 volt automotive relay. I'm just I'm not using it in a car right now, of course. Just other projects. Then the other thing you want to do is just actuate the relay over and over, you know, 10 or 20 times, just to make sure that you've got it moving. Um, sometimes the first couple times you click it, it will sound quiet, and then it will actually get louder and louder as you switch it on and off, as the mechanism kind of starts to break free more and begins to be able to swing with less resistance. So now after uh, tapping the relays, they are all working. The other thing is if you do have control of the relays, of course you can feel the relay box to see if it's clicking. Um, it can be hard to tell when you have eight of them whether or not the one you're, if that's in question is turning on and off, but if you feel it, you can usually tell that it's, you can feel the clicking going on inside. Um, so yeah, that's just a, with mechanical relays, uh, that is a way you can get them to start clicking again if they've been sitting out in the weather for a while. Obviously a solid state relay doesn't have that issue. Um, so that's a, just a quick little tip, I guess. Thanks for watching.